in California, where we now know that approximately half of the children entering kindergarten are the children of immigrants, where there's been such a huge growth in English learners, and certainly here in the Silicon Valley area, both the increase in English learners and the increased awareness of the real educational barriers that they're facing really added up to the need to do something now. In 2009, the Sobrato Family Foundation partnered with Dr. Lori Olson, who is a national expert really in English learner education. She's been doing this work for more than 30 years. Teaching in a SEAL environment is like the pinnacle of everything I've ever done as a teacher. Uh, I'm a firm believer in this program. After more than 20 years teaching, this is the kind of model and the kind of teaching that for me is the, has the most impact. SEAL is really based on very deep research. Uh, the data shows that early intervention and continual support are the keys to ensuring that English learners succeed in school. There are some very foundational ideas and research behind the SEAL model. One of them is we know how really important it is that children be talking, oral language, that the way you develop language is by using it, producing it, drawing into your brain your ideas and putting them out through language. And we also know that English learners are by and large a silent group in schools because they don't have the language of school. So one of the first things about SEAL is we need to have the kids talking. A SEAL classroom is alive with language. The achievement gap is not a no Grove issue. It's a state, it's a national issue. Uh, finding research-based uh, approaches that help support our students, our English language learners, be successful academically is a need everywhere in our educational system. And so SEAL is one of those approaches that we believe will make an impact in erasing that achievement gap. It's very, very important that these kids are not behind once they get into uh, the first, second, and third grade. And that's where we're starting at three years old. So by the time they're in the third grade, they're completely up to par. And uh, it seems to be working. What I see in the children is that they are actually learning faster, more, and they want to know more. I mean, the curiosity is like a little seed that just sprouts and wants more. There are classrooms in which the content that children are learning needs to become alive, and it becomes alive in many different ways. It becomes alive through actual hands-on, tangible things kids can touch and manipulate, which is how young children learn anyways. They also have dramatic play areas linked to the theme because young children learn through play. So if we're learning about community workers, they're gonna have opportunities to put on the clothes of a firefighter, to put on the clothes of a veterinarian. I think because it's connected to the real world and they are experiencing these themes kind of everywhere they go, they see the, the value of it. We understand that for children coming from um, a home where English is not the home language, they come with a knowledge base and they come with a language. And we want to leverage that um, in the development of their English and in their engagement in academic work. We're five years in and we're seeing really exciting results, both in English only and bilingual classroom settings. In English only settings, SEAL provides really high quality instruction to all students, which actually allows English learners to achieve at the same level as their peers. 
in bilingual settings, which means that students started in preschool with their instruction primarily in Spanish, and then by third grade that instruction transitions to primarily in English, we're finding that English learner students actually achieve at even higher levels, both in their language skills and in math. The equation, how much it will cost you. For the kids to take a pride in that they already have knowledge that is valuable and that they can connect with their parents and communicate with their parents about what they've learned. Parents have something to offer. Pues sobre todo les va a ayudar a, en el futuro porque sobre todo porque ellos les gusta mucho como es bilingüe, pues les gusta mucho y y sobre todo porque yo tengo un niño que no estuvo en el programa Sobrato y él no le gusta la escuela. Y ellos están más enfocados ahorita pues de que les gusta más la escuela, les gusta leer mucho. Mi niño viene entusiasmado a la escuela para estudiar más eh, porque pues habla los dos idiomas. O oh, en el futuro pienso que le van a ayudar mucho, mucho para eh, en su carrera que él estudie. Pienso que va a ser muy bueno. What I would say about SEAL and why SEAL is so important to the family and to the foundation is it, it really hits at the center of who they are. Because we believe very sincerely as a family that everyone deserves a good education. If you look at our mission statement of the foundation, it's to build a strong and vibrant community, both in our philanthropic work and in our business work. We started with two or three schools in Redwood City, then went into San Jose. Now I think we're probably in about uh, a dozen different schools and uh, up to 11,000 students now are in the SEAL, the Sobrata Early Academic Language program. I think we have too many children that, that look at the wealth produced in the valley, the opportunities produced in the valley and believe that they don't have a shot at that. One of the things that SEAL does is it provides a real tangible example of an opportunity where uh, Children were being left behind in great numbers before. And with a little intervention on a foundation's part and, and um, a reprioritization and reallocation of resources on a school's part, we we're then setting up children to actually thrive in this valley in, in a way that they didn't have the opportunity before. I'm just um, so impressed by the high level academic language, high level engagement. Uh, the student enthusiasm, the teacher enthusiasm, um, and just overall that learning is fun. What makes SEAL unique is early intervention and support for students through the first five years of school, high quality curriculum materials that are aligned to the Common Core standards, and sustained training and professional development for educators to make sure that the instruction students receive is really engaging. SEAL's goals are certainly mastery of grade level content and literacy and all of the things that we wish for all kids. But SEAL also, right from the start, put out several other goals for our students. We wanted them to be confident, motivated, engaged learners who love language. And we never let those other goals go. We want learning to be a joy. We want classrooms to be places where children are happy and excited and curious about learning because we know that's what is the motor that's going to drive them to um, learn more and more and more and more and be contributors in greater ways in their world.